Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. The purpose of today's video is to talk about cold weather considerations when you're drawing your pistol. As you can see, I got my jacket on and a long sleeve shirt underneath this. And uh, this is because it's in the single digits. As you can see, cheerful Charlie right there is our dog. He's a little basset hound Labrador mix. He's just having a grand old time out here. He likes it. The colder, the better. But as you can see, it's cold and it gets cold in the overwhelming majority of the United States. A couple of things to consider when you're doing your cold weather gear. You got to make sure you got to get a, a grip on your cloth. You've got to get both hands on there and clear your cover garment. I got my jacket and my long sleeve shirt. Just trying to do it one hand or trying to do it another way is not going to work for you. And I'm going to show you the difference that it does take longer to clear a cover garment when you're wearing cold weather equipment. So I'm going to start without it, how I normally dress when, I, when it's not winter time. Show you the time that I can get. I had five yards here on our tar on a target. so. Let's go ahead and show you. I got the par set for about a second, which is what it takes me from concealment at this distance typically. So this is normal, all right? This is normal. I'm going to go one shot to the body. And as you can see, folks, I'm at 112. So right on there, that was the first shot I've taken today. That is literally cold. It's cold out here, and that's cold uh, when it comes to this as well. So 112, as you can see on the timer from concealment. A uh, dead center hit right there. So now I'm going to add a fleece, or excuse me, I'm just going to add this jacket. And you're going to see it's going to be a difference in time. It's going to be a big time change because I'm not going to be able to be as quick as I normally am. And I'm not talking about cheating either, guys, keeping those jackets open like some people claim that they do. When it's cold outside, most people zip them up. So we got to make sure that we get both hands on the cloth and we get it up high. So just to show you the difference in time here. Uh, same par, same one second. Let's see what we do. Yeah, I'm at a 139 here, folks. 139. So what can we can deduce from that is, is that about a 112 or 139? It's about a quarter of a second longer, a full reaction time longer when you've got cold weather equipment. Something to keep in mind. And what I really want you to focus on doing is going out and practicing with your sweatshirts, your hoodies, your fleece, your jacket, because we can't always reliably get that pistol out of the holster the way we can with just a t-shirt on. I want you all to live. I want you to be successful. I want you to have a prosperous 2018. Happy New Year, by the way. So go out, practice with your cold weather gear on. I know you can probably do it in your t-shirt, but still, let's go ahead and strive. Let's keep those shots at under one and a half seconds here at five yards. Let's go ahead and make it happen. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook. And if you want to get some training on your pistol, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'd love to have you in pistol craft. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.